what's in Donald Trump's summit agreement with Kim Jong-un, and what isn't. The U.S. president and North Korean dictator signed a historic document, but what does the Singapore agreement say? Here's the full text and what it means. Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un have signed a historic agreement after a summit the likes of which the world never thought it would see. The U.S. president appeared to use a pen inscribed in gold with his own signature after meeting the North Korean leader man-on-man -man in Singapore. Trump heaped praise on very smart Kim, who is accused of human rights outrages and having rivals executed, and said they formed a very special bond. But what does their agreement actually say and what will it achieve? Here is the full text, with brief analysis. What's in the agreement? The agreement commits to four points. It reaffirms the Panmunjom Declaration from April that commits to work towards complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. It also vows to form new relations between the U.S. and North Korea in accordance for the desire for peace, and make efforts for a stable peace regime between the North and the South. And finally both sides commit to recovering the remains of prisoners of war and soldiers missing in action, including the immediate repatriation of those already identified. Later, Trump also committed to stop the war games in South Korea because they are provocative and will save us a tremendous amount of money. He also claimed Kim had told him he had already destroyed a major missile testing site. However, neither of these things were in the agreement. The agreement is an impressive show of goodwill but it is very vague, and does not include the U.S.'s key demand. The U.S. was seeking the complete, verifiable, irreversible denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, and restated its demand only yesterday. But the words verifiable and irreversible do not appear anywhere in the document, which only echoes something Kim has already signed. There is also no mention of ending crippling economic sanctions on North Korea, despite the commitment to prosperity on both sides. There is no mention of North Korea's appalling human rights record. Kim is accused of ordering the execution of his enemies and arbitrarily detaining more than 120,000 people in prison camps. Nor was there any reference to finally signing a peace treaty. The two Koreas are technically still at war as the Korean War that killed millions only ended with a truce in 1953. Finally, the U.S. is not committing to pull out any of its tens of thousands of troops from South Korea. Trump said he would like to but it's not on the agenda yet. President Donald J. Trump of the United States of America and Chairman Kim Jong-un of the State Affairs Commission of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea DPRK, held a first historic summit in Singapore on June 12, 2018. President Trump and Chairman Kim Jong-un conducted a comprehensive, in-depth, and sincere exchange of opinions on the issues related to the establishment of new U.S. DPRK relations and the building of a lasting and robust peace regime on the Korean Peninsula. President Trump committed to provide security guarantees to the DPRK and Chairman Kim Jong-un reaffirmed his firm and unwavering commitment to complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Convinced that the establishment of new U.S. DPRK relations will contribute to the peace and prosperity of the Korean Peninsula and of the world, and recognizing that mutual confidence building can promote the denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, President Trump and Chairman Kim Jong-un state the following. 1. The United States and the DPRK commit to establish new U.S. DPRK relations in accordance with the desire of the peoples of the two countries for peace and prosperity. 2. The United States and the DPRK will join their efforts to build a lasting and stable peace regime on the Korean Peninsula. 3. Reaffirming the April 27, 2018 Panmunjom Declaration. The DPRK commits to work towards complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. 4. The United States and the DPRK commit to recovering pow slash mia remains, including the immediate repatriation of those already identified. Having acknowledged that the U.S. DPRK summit, the first in history, was an epochal event of great significance and overcoming decades of tensions and hostilities between the two countries and for the opening of a new future, President Trump and Chairman Kim Jong-un commit to implement the stipulations in this joint statement fully and expeditiously.
the United States and the DPRK commit to hold follow-on negotiations led by the U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, and a relevant high-level DPRK official, at the earliest possible date, to implement the outcomes of the U.S. DPRK summit. President Donald J. Trump of the United States of America and Chairman Kim Jong-un of the State Affairs Commission of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea have committed to cooperate for the development of new U.S. DPRK relations and for the promotion of peace, prosperity, and security of the Korean Peninsula and of the world.